everyone, and welcome to Cleve Warnock Field here on uh, this Friday night football. Uh, we have the Trinity Crusaders and the Briarwood Buccaneers, and it's Don Claus. We're here with John Mark Butler. A beautiful game, beautiful night. Yeah, it is awesome weather. We are fortunate to have a cool breeze. Hopefully, the stands will be electrifying tonight as the Trinity Crusaders bring home a win. The, uh, they moved the games back to 8 o'clock early in the year because of the heat and Coach Fields felt like it'd just be a consistent touch and it's allowed for more people to get here. We have a huge crowd. Here comes the Trinity Crusaders uh, onto the field. we got a great crowd here tonight, John Mark. I know it's hard to believe. We've, we've already played how many games is this? <laughs> well, this is, our, this is our fifth game, fourth game. We, we lost the one game. Uh, Briarwood, our, uh, our opponent tonight, has played four games already, and they're 4-0. Tell us a little bit about Briarwood. Well, we see they played starting off with Westminster. They had a good win, 41-14. And then the next game was with Burke County out of Swainsboro. They won 26-0. Following that, they had Piedmont Academy out of Monticello. That's and our they one won, mutual opponent. That's right, and they won 35-21. And the men Christian out of Marietta, Georgia, they had a big win of 56 and 21. So they obviously can put up numbers That's right. offensively. When we are receiving, which Coach Fields has, has liked us receiving all year long, it's worked out great for us. Obviously, Thomas Jefferson game, uh, Jake Walker got us started with the season with the kickoff. Uh, receiving a kickoff. Uh, Jake is going to be back deep along with uh, Gabe Meadows. Kicking off for Briarwood is number 32, Junior Travis Pate. And it's a short kick and it's handled by Gideon Meadows. A little bit of a uh, trickery there yeah. trying to get us to uh, right. hit a player close but it gets us great field position starting at the 40. That's why it's important to have some good hands on the very front line. That, that's exactly right John Mark. Well it looks like they're going to have a test tonight in the middle of their schedule with Trinity and then they get to follow up with a powerhouse of John Millage. Yeah they get John Millage next week so we might not look so bad to him tonight. Uh, we know we're going to start out in the wing, and there goes uh, big hole. Uh, Gabe Meadows running hard. Last week was the first week that we ran him at fullback some uh, with the absence of David Skeeters, and uh, he ran really hard last week. Yes. It's a two-yard gain. The concussion protocol is, uh, has kept Davis out, Davis out at least for another week or two. Uh, that was actually a pickup. Uh, they announced two, but it looks like a three-yard pickup will bring us up at a second and seven. It's been one of the keys for us this year is not having the too long on first on second down. That's right. And here goes a handoff to our other fullback, Blake Purvis. He's also our leading rusher for the year with um, Blake Purvis carrying the ball. Twenty. Blake has 27 carries for 141 yards on the year. He, and, he is the second leading rusher behind Gabe, uh, behind Davis, but had his first 100-yard game last week. So that puts us in a third and five. Whit Mason comes out with the play. Jackson Brack leads the line. Up. Oh, we got Blake Purvis once again set. You got Jake Walker in motion. And there goes another dive to the fullback. He's running hard. Looks like he's going to come up about a yard short there, John Mark. And yeah, the defense is hanging in there. They're, they're penetrating some against us, shooting the gaps. It's fourth and two from our 48. It looks yeah. like we're going to go out and punt, which is the the uh, pragmatic thing to do here, prudent thing, prudent uh, choice. Bag to punt, number 14, Whit Mason. Now we yeah. may try to draw him off with it number only being two yards left, so it may be a hard count here. Jesse Cushman, yeah. back deep. You got a wide receiver, Jesse Cushman, back deep for Briarwood. Good punt by Whit Mason. Takes a Trinity bounce. Roll dead. Where's that at? The 22. 
So that will be a 30-yard net punt. Now let's talk a little bit about let's talk a little bit about the Briarwood offense. Um, or as they like to call it, the Dylan Reese show. The Dylan Reese show, that's right. Number 23. His statistics on the year uh, read like uh, a Nintendo game back when we used to play <laughs> Nintendo. Yeah, I was, I was like, how many games has he played so far? We're looking at 72 carries at 880 yards. In just four games. In four games, so that's an average of 12.2 yards per carry. And then sure enough, he's lined up. And we see him. And they give it to the up back, number four, Chess McMichael. Uh, I went up there with Keanu on number 23. <laughs> well, we talked to Coach Mills uh, uh, multiple occasions before the game, and he said he wasn't sure exactly what they could do. Um, the pick up from nine for McMichael, what they could do um, aside from Reese. And he said, well, we're going to find out. So we line up in our base defense. And there's a quarterback sneak. sneak. And we have Matt Coleman in on the tackle. With some help from Chase Autry. Number five. And Matt Coleman's Zach on the kick. good about, tackler, hard nose hit. Yep. Pick up about six on that play. And Griffin Hill. The game is enough for Buccaneer first down. So they bring the play in from the sideline, and they're lining up. They're lining up in that eye, but now 23 is the up back. And there he goes, and they keyed on him. Big Sidney Collison's in there. Matt Coleman, Gabe Meadows. Good tackle. Sidney came out of the game last week with a growing injury, and he was sort of uh, questionable early in the week. The young bodies recover. That's right. <laughs> so that was a pickup of about one, one and a half. Well, let's see what we're going to get a, a pass play here. Are oh, they going to keep it on the ground? They line back up in the power eye, and now number 23 is in the deep, deep position. And there he goes again, and there's a shoestring tackle. Yeah. Right then by Keon Taylor. Oh, that looked <laughs> looked like he might break one right there. But he had a burst of speed coming through did. the line. He came off the first tackle and Keon got him by a shoestring and, and held him to side. about a five yard gain there. Bring up a third and a, a five yard gain. Third and uh, third and three. Third down. Three. Shifting over at the line. And that's what we were worried about. He hit the hole. Dylan Reese hit the hole hard. And 56 years later, he's in the that's end zone. That's right. Zone. Yeah, they, they shift over inside and had a gap there. And I, I wonder if they caught an audible there. They may have, or he might have just spotted it and decided to go to a different lane. But he hit that gap, and you can see how he came up with 880 yards. That's right. He has speed. <laughs> Gabe Meadows had a just a fleeting chance at him, but he, he didn't have enough uh, to really be able to get a hold of him. So now they'll go for two. And lined up in a uh, offset formation this time, John Martin. Yeah, they, they didn't like something. So well, they, they had uh, Chess Mc, McMichael out there as well as uh, Jesse Cushman, I'm not sure why they pulled 23 out. They might save him for the longer. <laughs> May not want to waste him there, but it looked like they had some confusion and they wasted a timeout, which, you know, uh, those timeouts might be valuable in the end of the, end of the half. We've seen that in some, um, some professional and college games in the last few weeks. So that was the first flash of Dylan Reese that we had We'd heard about it. I'd heard about it from Coach Mike Kirby, from Coach Jimmy Fields, looking at the statistics. We knew we had to stop, and we didn't get him stopped that time. And that was good execution by the line. They ran in a weak spot in our defense. They saw, and they shifted over. I had made a suggestion earlier that they put 12 in the box, but I don't think they took me <laughs> serious.
They come out now. They're in a uh, full house tee back there, and there Pitch he it goes out wide. to four. And almost oh, broke two tackles and touchdown. Our, our extra point. They got the two point conversion there. Chess McMichael converts it, so it's eight to nothing. We're gonna go to a commercial now. It's more than just meat. When done right, it's a mind-blowing experience, thanks to its bold, smoky flavor. Dark, barky outside, and moist, tender inside. It's one of the wonders of the barbecue world, and it's smoked and served daily at Sonny's Barbecue. Come try a new signature brisket plate like Brisket Mac for $9.99, or brisket with ribs or pork and two sides for a limited time. Sonny's Barbecue, local pit masters since 68. Since Lined up for the uh, kickoff. It's uh, eight to nothing, Briarwood, with 7:30 left in the first quarter. Trinity needs to respond here. Another squib kick. Got some and blocking in the Walker. middle. Jake Walker make... with a good return of approximately 22, 22 yards. Jake Walker returning the kick. He stopped by number 32, Travis Pate. Well, they moved the ball. First possession. Let's Got see it. if they can continue the momentum. And yeah, we need to we need to keep their offense off the field for a little bit. We were real conservative in that first. Yeah, we need uh, to have some long drives. Really had basically uh, three runs into the line, dives almost you'd call them. Uh, let's see if Coach Fields opens up a little bit more. We we'll come out in our our standard. Uh, Single wing. And whip base and rolls out and he's wide. You know, he's there, folks. That's, oh that's gonna be a, <laughs> he with. It's gonna be pass interference on number seven. Will Johnson. Um Whip Mason really hung in there that's good. Right. He got hit hard on that play and the ball floated a little pass bit and that actually worked to our advantage because right. Jake made the attempt to come back to the ball and the de defender had no idea where it was. Easy call. That'll be an automatic first down. Unfortunately, it's not like the NFL where we'd get the ball That's to the right. yard line. But I believe it's a, is it a five or a 10 yard in high school? Call is pass interference against the Buccaneers. 15. 15 yards. Should be 15. Sometimes they call holding, defensive holding, and sometimes they call pass interference, but that's a that's a 15 yard game. It put us first down in Buccaneer territory at the 48 yard line. They obviously well, that's saw a, something. Well, that's a good sign. If they can. They can mix in the, the pass with the run. That's going to throw them off. Well, everyone knows we're a run first team, but last week one of the things we were able to do is stretch the field a little bit with uh, Will and Jack. There goes big uh, hole. Big hole. Good spin move. with a good spin move. And uh, looked like a horse collar yeah. in there, but I guess they didn't see it that way. But some good hard running from Gabe Meadows. Gabe he Meadows seems to be by five. way ahead of last year as far as being a lot more physical out there, a lot more confident running the ball. The and that was a good, hard. strong Set run. Two to go. And this is your favorite down, suck it in short. Yes. Jackson Brack leads the line up. I still like the run the clock down <laughs> based, yeah, on, the, based on what I've seen on the First possession yep. of the Buccaneers. Fighting for some extra yardage. A little pop pass out to the side, and we didn't get the blocks. Uh, we didn't get the blocks from the receivers out there to free up Jack. So it's a gain of none. And it leaves us with third and two. Third down, three. We'll line up tight this time. 
We got Jack Ferris in tight. Right up the middle. And that's going to be close. Good hard running. Blake Purvis on the carry. Stop by number five, Zach Stanley. Looks like he got the first down. Dylan Reese. Looks like that. No, they're, they're saying he's short. They didn't measure. Yard. Yeah. Well, I know last week we had a lot of close game. ones and they never came out and measured. So they, these, I guess these officials Fourth have better one. eyes than the old officials. <laughs> that's right. Fourth and one. We need a push from Ready? the line right here just to get that one. Look for. Uh, Look for Whip Mason to ride yeah. Jay, uh, Jackson Brack for first down. Based looks on like the penetration. Looks like he's got a little gap there. And there it is. Wait, yep. Right Good the job. Spins around and he, and gets, he, the first he down. gets the first down. They lined up and gave him a gap there, and Jackson was able to push forward, and we gained the the yard that we really only needed about six inches. One thing I do like that I see early is they got a lot of guys going both ways, and even though it's not a hot night or a real human night. It is. It looks like it's going to be a physical game. And uh, know from watching last week and watching that Thomas Jefferson, our depth can play off late in the game if we keep this a close game. It's like Witt's checking. Blake up. Blake with a good run, had a, had a gap there. Blake Curtis carrying the ball. Looks like he picked up good a good run the play. Yep. Down to the 33, a pick up of four. Puts us in second and six. The game is four and a half. As you said, we need a nice time to see them drive. That's right. So far, at this point, this drive has been a little bit over three minutes. We have Matt Coleman back there at fullback now. You got a pass. He's wide open. Oh! Quinn Mora, number 70. Great play by Chris Young. He was real aware of that ball. A lot of penetration on that play, but Chris was aware of where the ball was and got on it and uh, saved us from a, from a bad, bad uh, deal right there, John Mark. Yeah, when the, as the play was developing, we had someone out in the flats Wide open. They had a jailbreak on us, and there was no way Witt could do anything but try to. He tried to eat the ball, but they were on him so quick he couldn't control it. So that puts us in. We come out in the shotgun for the first time. It's third and 12. A little core route. Uh oh. Nice catch by Jack Ferris. And it looked like he might get away from the defensive back, but he sort of lost balance there. And uh, Jack a pick up of about four yards, leave us with a fourth and eight. And we're there 35. Hit by number seven, Will Johnson. Well, we're going to have a to. Chance that we may be going for it here. Fourth down, seven. Yeah. Maybe a good play to, to hit oh. the tight end here. Well, it looked like he came out in pump formation, but now he's moved up. It looks like. Oh, a little pooch kick. A little pooch kick. We just need to get on it, find the ball. Great job by Whip Mason and great job by Jack Ferris pinning them down at the one yard line. The old quick kick. That's right. Uh, we yeah. use that a few times to good effect. Yeah, we want them to start off as close as they can <laughs> to the end zone. That's right. With the speed of Dylan Reese. And we'll go to a break right now with Briarwood Buccaneers 8, Trinity Crusaders 0 with 231 left in the first quarter. There's more than one way to get professional lawn care. Do it yourself like this homeowner with whatever this is. Pros use reliable, powerful Gravely equipment. This homeowner gets by with something else. Gravely delivers the high performance and quality professionals stake their reputation on. Gravely outpowers, outlasts, outperforms. Get what the pros use. See Myers Equipment and Supply for details. Briarwood's huddled in their own uh, 
yeah, end zone right now. Uh, after that great, that excellent punt by uh, Whip Mason pinned them down at the two. And they come out and they've got 23 in the up position this time. They move him back and forth between the up and the deep back. It's time for the defensive line to explode in. It's just a quarterback he's trying to get some, uh, look like he's just trying to get a yeah. little space there, John Mark. He wants some wiggle room. Uh, but it didn't look like he got much out of it. May have got a, may have got a few inches out of it. They're going to, it looks like you're going to give him about a yard. Another good aggressive play. So we've got our baseline, our five men. we got eight men in the box. And there he yeah, goes. That's a, a big hit by the Crusaders. We had several guys in on that hit and, and stifled again, them again. Here comes 23 back in. He wasn't in for that play. Brought this play in. Well, they keep hitting him like that. He's not going to run a whole lot. No. Nope. Third down, 10. We got two men wide. And once again, we got eight in the box. I would say a conservative play up the middle. Oh, nope. they're going to throw it, and there he's open. And I was wrong. He got a chance. Jake Walker. Jake, Jake Walker. Walker. He tried to take him out and lost his balance. That's right. Jake had to edge on him. But that was still a big play to Porter Brooks. Uh, they had that one-on-one -on -one coverage. And uh, our defensive back did well, over there. That was a gutsy call. It was. A gutsy call. Well, they gave him time, and I got bit and left him open. There was actually his closest coverage was by one of his teammates. But um, Gabe Meadows was chasing, and Jake had the corner and had the angle, and I think the guy was running out of gas. He's not number 23. <laughs> so that brings it down to the 32. That was a 66-yard pass play and puts the, uh, the Buccaneers back in good position. And there goes number 23, Reese. Good in play, a strong good play. tackle. Gr Griffin Hill, after the initial hit by Chase Autry, Griffin Hill makes a great tackle. Griffin's been getting in the game a little bit earlier and earlier each week. Gives us some quickness and toughness. That's right. That was a good one-on-one -on -one tackle. It was, it was. Chase had gotten there and sort of slowed him down a little bit. And that's gonna be the last play of the first quarter. Clock, clock operator stopped it for a second, <laughs> trying to make me a lie, yeah. of the first quarter. So we end the first quarter at Cleve Warnock Field with Briarwood leading eight to nothing over Trinity. We'll be back. Brisket's more than just meat. When done right, it's a mind-blowing experience, thanks to its bold, smoky flavor. Dark, barky outside, moist, tender inside. It's one of the wonders of the barbecue world, and it's smoked and served daily at Sonny's Barbecue. Come try a new signature brisket plate like Brisket Mac for $9.99, or brisket with ribs or pork and two sides for a limited time. Sonny's Barbecue, local pit masters since 68. Since Okay, we're back to the start of the second quarter here at Cleve Warnock Field. Uh, Briarwood has gotten themselves out of a hole, uh, John Mark. And they were backed up, and we thought they were just going to be conservative, and they came out throwing the ball deep, changing the momentum on the first quarter. So going into second the second. Nine. Officials had a little confusion there, and now we got the clock starting. Good heads up play. Good play. It looked almost like a read option, and uh, and Gideon yeah. Meadows blew that one up. Uh, it look, you know, it looked like they were uh, using Reese as a decoy yeah. there, and the quarterback <laughs> was going to run it, but well, he probably saw they didn't bite on it. He probably saw Gideon. He thought Gideon was going to tackle the tackle Reese, and he pulled right. it, and then he t and then Gideon came on through and tackled oh, the quarterback. Here's another big third and long, of course. 
Uh, this is a big one to uh, slow them down and, and take back some momentum here. Third, third and a long 13 at the Crusader 35. They're spreading it out. They line up in the shotgun. That's a flip. Yeah. Tough, tough run. run. Tough run. They ran a little uh, screen to number 23. And uh, he got free again and just outran us. I thought we had the angle on him over there, John Mark, but you know, they say speed kills. Well, they that was a good play. They, they set up him to go out into the, the flats, a you know, short pass, and, and give him a one on one situation, and he took advantage of it. It was good blocking by their receivers as well. As the old coach said, when you're rushing the quarterback, no one's blocking you, the play's behind you. <laughs> they line it up going for two. Either they don't have a good kicker or they're confident in their short yardage game. Oh, and that was a nice pass from number five to number 10 right there. Across the middle. Good to number 10, Jesse Cushman. Good catch. It was. That puts Briarwood up 16 to nothing. 11-12 left in the second quarter. I'm Locke Wilford with Dublin Chevrolet, and we make getting to the game fun. Into tailgating, save up to $10,000 off Silverados. Save big on gas with Cruz and Malibu, and spend more on snacks. Bringing friends, get there in style with a roomy Suburban. Want to get there with muscle? Come on, sweetie, let's go. Dublin Chevrolet, the only dealer you will ever need. Okay, Briarwood's lining up to kick off at 16 to nothing. The Buccaneers are up uh, thanks to a couple of long touchdowns from Dylan Reese. Uh, we have uh, Gabe Meadows and Jake Walker in the deep positions, but the first two times they kicked, or first two times they kicked, they kicked these squibbers. This one's a little bit longer kick and goes to Gabe Meadows. He's got, a, he's got a hole. He's keep good hard running up to the 43-yard uh, line. It was a 25-yard return for Gabe Meadows. Once again, Gabe putting Meadows us in good field carry. position. Yeah, good field Dawson position Jones. is a key. In most cases, you can, if you do have to punt the ball on a on a drive that ends, you can pin them down close to the end zone, play some decent defense. Well, we're going to have to open it up. We're going to have to score some points. This team is uh, three big plays. Will case hers tonight already. Got motion. Blake Purvis with the drive, but no no push from the offensive line there, and Blake never really had a chance on that play. Blake Purvis carrying for the Crusaders, stopped by number four, Chet McMichael, number 78, Danny Rouse for the Bucks. Gideon There's Meadows no comes in play. with the play from the sideline on second and 10, replacing Will Clardy. Is where we need to uh, reach down and and, and uh, show what we're made of right here, John. Yeah, we Martin. need a we drive need, here. We need a drive. Got backside. Backside. Hunter Callaway came from the backside. Uh, it's a play we run a lot with uh, Whit rolling out. Um, and before he could get turned, yeah. they were all over him. Red Mason sacked on the play by yeah. number three. The play, the the play developed eight. a little longer than probably they wanted, but the quickness of the Buccaneers. In this play on that play. It's going to be third and 19 for the Crusaders. We need a big play. Yeah, this team has won four straight, so. They know how to win. And that ball is deflected by number 32. Heads up uh, play. Travis Pate, the kicker. 
He also plays on the defensive line. Just not getting enough push from our offensive line right this minute. So that will put us in a fourth and 19 and we'll have to punt. Jesse Cushman's back deep. Good punt, nice spiral. Ooh, big hit by Gideon Meadows. Jesse Cushman caught it at the 37 and he caught the ground at the 37. Maybe a play like that That's can right. get us a little inspired. Maybe that was a spark to ignite the defense and, and put a stop this drive by the Bucks. Right now it's, they're keying on their, their star running back. He has been tough to beat. He has. He's a, he's a guy that all he's got to have is a little gap, and he showed it time and time again tonight. They come out once again in that power eye. It's just real simple football, John Mark. There they go, giving it to him There you again. go. He breaks and, a tackle. Uh, he breaks another tackle. Finally, the third tackle, David, uh, young David Coleman out there getting a lot of time. That's for right. He made the tackle in Oakville. Yeah, he's he wants to get out wide so he can find a seam, but that was a good yes. good tackle by Coleman. It was. We should have. The first man, if he had, first man had been able to lock him up, though, it would have been a gain of zero, but they got three out of it. Uh, Gideon Meadows had to come off. He was, showed some blood on his elbow, so uh, Dr. Richter got him taped up, and he'll be back in there in just a second. Pass play. Pass play to number yep. 10. Yeah, first Cushman. down. Their, their play action pass is working yeah, tonight. They, they, well, we're keying on number 23, which we have to. And, uh, you know, it was said before the game we didn't know what they had because they hadn't had to use a lot. But obviously, um, they've got more players on this team. They've got some good talent. There's a reason they're 4-0 and have scored a lot of points in every game. There they go back. Another broke, broken tackle. Yep. Will Clardy and Keon Taylor in on that tackle, but it's Dylan Reese carrying the ball six, seven, eight yards down the line, line down the field. Clardy, yeah, the quarterback for the Buccaneers the has been making some really good throws. So he has a hot hand yep. along right. with Dylan Reese. Right now we're a little shell shocked out there. It's gonna be a tough night. And uh, it'd be a good time for a turnover, John Mark. Yeah, we could handle a fumble or an interception. Coach Fields calls a timeout, a first timeout of the half for the Trinity Crusaders with uh, 740 left in the first half. Briarwood is leading 16, Trinity nothing. Dr. Price and Dr. Peters at Dubman Orthopedic and Rehabilitation have been a part of our community for many years and very proud to support high school football. We are proud of our children and their commitment. We share that same commitment when it comes to our patients. You'll always be a winner at Dublin Orthopedic. No referral ever needed. Just call us today at 272-3022. Whether it's a sports injury, carpal tunnel, stress fracture, ankle sprain, or any other injury. Don't waste your time or money going to the ER, urgent care, or hospital. Come straight to the specialist, Dr. Price and Dr. Peters at Dublin Orthopedic and Rehabilitation, 2406 Bellevue Road in Dublin. Hello, Middle Georgia. I'm Graham Slater with the Dublin Auto Outlet. We're located at 606 East Jackson Street in downtown Dublin. We're inviting you here today to come and look at a new or used vehicle. Our selection includes Nissan's, Ford's, Chevy's, Cadillac's, and anything you're looking for, Middle Georgia, even heavy-duty trucks. 
Come see my team of professionals and let us help you find a great car at a great price. I've been in the automobile business over 38 years and I've helped thousands of people just like you. Come and let Graham Slater help you get the most car for your money. Don't be taken for a ride, Middle Georgia. Come see me, Graham Slater. And remember, we're the only dealer you will ever need. We're coming out of the first time out for Trinity. Uh, it's time to buckle the chin straps. We need to stop this drive. The second and four at our 44. And here we come with some penetration. Play action pass again. And Ooh, a big hit, a big, a big hit. hit from Gideon Meadows uh, from the backside. A big seven-yard sack. Um, Looked like Briar might have outsmarted themselves there. Uh, well, going to the well. well I think the timeout worked. There you go. Yep. And that'll bring up another third and long. And it's third and, down, uh, These have been deadly to us tonight. We need to come through tonight and. Uh, Deny them a conversion on this one, John Mark. Back in the eye formation. Official timeout. To um, Briarwood calling their second Briarwood timeout in the first half. Um, looked like there was a little confusion over what they wanted to do there, John Mark. And with it being third and 11, right here at midfield. You know, the, the thought is, do they want to try to get part of it, maybe run the ball and get part of it here and go for it on four? Or do they throw, do they maybe throw deep or throw something like that screen again? There's a lot of, you know, we got a lot of different things to look for on this play. And the other thing is, we haven't really seen the quarterback take off and run. You're right, you're right. He's run a couple of sneaks, but, you know, if he gets his two spread out, you know, concentrating on other things, he might break loose. Because they're in that four down territory right here at midfield. And especially, you know, they're, they're sort of, what do they call it, playing with house money. They're up 16 -0. That's right. And so, um, we, what we need is another nice play like we just had from Gideon Meadows, a big, uh, to knock them farther back and to help us get better field position. Yeah. The Buccaneers are one to press the, the gas pedal down because they, right. they want to keep going. But the Crusaders, are showing some light here. They're coming in, they're playing playing harder on the defensive line. We pull a couple of guys off, and they go right to the... There you go. Big he hit. gets hit hard, Matt Coleman, and uh, William, William Gay in William on the William Gay play. comes in to stop to finish off the tackle. And uh, so that, that gives them a fourth and nine here. Looks like their special teams are coming out uh, to punt. That's what, that's what we want to see. We better, just, we better hurry up down. and get off the field so they don't quick kick here. Yeah, we need to get a score before we go in the half. We got Jay Walker and young David Coleman back to receive the kick just inside the 20. Big punt, big, big punt. punt. Jake Walker yeah. takes it at the 14. Good tackle. It is a great open field tackle there by number 12, Tommy Wells. And so we will start at the 15 yard line. 6 11 left in the first half, trailing 16 to nothing. This is a big drive right here, John Moore. Well, it's crucial for us to get some points. Early, early, early we want to stay on the field as long as we can to keep them off the field. That's right. Unfortunately, now we're going to have to try to get in there before well, we, half. We need to score and we need to take some time because they get the ball coming out to start the second half, and they've showed that they can be very explosive. So we line up with Matt Coleman at fullback. Motion up the, off the. And Matt Coleman is stuffed right at the line of scrimmage. Blake Purvis carrying for the Trinity. We had a power Stop set in that time with only one, one uh, wide out. And uh, they just dropped the guys into the box and made it tough for us. Yeah, the linebackers are definitely they're getting into the ball. They're creeping up which can leave us theoretically open it's for something long. Game. That's Stay right. We're moving the ball a lot in the first quarter. Here goes Jake Walker and had a cut, but 
and slipped. Slipped on the had a little bit of a hole there, and he turned to hit the hole, and he Jake slipped. Walker carried for the Crusaders. So that put us in another third and long. And maybe we can capture play. some of their third and nine down. mojo here. I tell you, they're they're coming off the ends real quick. So maybe if he could get a, a, a quick pass for the for the first down, maybe the call here. We come out with three wide. We got. Well, two wide, we got uh, Gideon Meadows and Jack Ferris out wide. And we're looking for a hole up the middle, and Matt Coleman hits Matt a hole. Matt Coleman fights more yardage. Still struggling to get him down, and takes a host from Buccaneers to get him down, but we're still. He picked up about, short. about six two, there. Coleman, unfortunately, we knew he needed nine, and this is not four down territory. So we're going to have to punt right here. As we slide down game, towards the four minute mark. Four down, three to go. <laughs> as much as their 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 speed at skill positions have hurt us, they have uh, they've done a real good job on both sides of the line of scrimmage too, John Mark. They move the ball, but they really have had some big plays, even and defense. Good punts going over. Whip Mason with a good punt, takes a Trinity bounce. That's going to end up being a 45-yard punt there, uh, or a, actually a 37-yard punt, but a good punt. And he was trying to sucker a, a rough in there with that slow uh, release there. If you noticed him, he sort of beat yes. the guy. We'd like to remind everyone our annual and That's sort of what we need is we just need a break. Since held this past week, these mini campers will perform at halftime of tonight's football game. I didn't mention the snow. Look at the snow coming It's been that way the whole game. <laughs> and this time, we would like to ask all the members. Building relationships is as easy as FSB. For more than 100 years, Farmer State Bank has been helping people just like you. Integrity, commitment, service. That's Farmer State Bank. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Farmer State Bank, Lawrence County's leader in hometown banking. What's that coming in here? We come back here and Briarwood We'll be starting this drive at the 40-yard line with 3.47 left in the first half. Uh, they hold a 16 to nothing lead over our Trinity Crusaders. This is crucial time for us right now, John Mark. Four and out here for the Crusaders. Four and out. They're shifting the defense around. <laughs> and with a little bit of offset, and there goes that uh, quarterback running the ball, as you, as you had suggested earlier, on a little sneak. Uh, Matt Coleman and Keon Taylor in there with the tackle. And there's a pickup of uh, Dylan Reese the ball. three and a half, three, 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 three and a half, four yards there. Key and Taylor. Puts them in a second and six. It's a gain of four yards, second down, six to go. We got two timeouts left. They can get another stop here. A turnover would be great. But I, I thought yep. they'd be playing. They lined up with a tackle eligible on the right on this right side, uh, but they go right back to the fullback, uh, the tailback Reese, but uh, good Keon stop. Taylor and Gideon Meadows in there with another big stop and put them in a uh, picked up a body yard there. John Mark put them in a third and five. It's a gain of one. Third down. Third down five. Big play for the Crusaders. Get a stop here and get the ball back and try to punch it in before halftime. They line up in their standard set, that pro eye uh, with two wide outs. And there goes the toss Pitch. to number 23. And William he's got Gay. some. William we, Gay gets through the block that, and he still gets the first. first down. It's a good open field tackle by William Gay, but he had a head of steam. And uh, 
William went low and he sort of went over him, but it was still a good, one of our best tackles in Oakville against him. But they ran that tall sweep right down there and they had, we had no containment on that on that side, John Mark. So he he's got tough, up ahead he is tough to, he's tough to stop outside one-on-one. -on -one. Now they speed up with the first down. Um, Quick pass. Good. Yeah. Batted at the line of scrimmage. I'm not sure if it was Keon Taylor or Sidney Collison, one of those tall kids in the middle of the line, got their hands up. Good heads up play, got their hands up there. It's just a quick, a quick hitter to the um, to the tight end. It's something we like to use in middle school. That quick hitter to the tight end, it seems to always be open. So that'll stop the clock at 2.06 and bring up a second and 10. Back to the eye. And there goes the quarterback on the yeah. snake again. Seems like the coach is going to be happy with a 16 to zero lead. Yeah, he's, he's sort of mixing it in there. I think he's, he, he, he feels like he sees something that maybe there's a gap there to be hit. Uh, Griffin Hill and uh, Matt Coleman in on that tackle. Um, it looks like he's just searching for something there. It's gonna bring up a third and eight here. It's a big, a big third play right here. Eight. If we can get a stop here, John Mark, uh, we can call a timeout and Trinity make a punt. Two timeouts left, so they have a chance to get the ball back and hopefully click off a few plays and get one into the end zone. But remember, there's four quarters in a football game. That's right. They come out in this, in this short shotgun, but there's a delay of game there on uh, Briarwood. His clock stops at 119. It'll be a five yard penalty. Some confusion over there. The coach might not have realized when the clock was running, but it did seem like it took a little bit longer than usual to get up there. After the penalty, it will be third down, 13. It's third and 13. This is, this is big time play time for the uh, Trinity defense. Based on what we've seen tonight, I would, I would say they're going to come out with something very careful, and they well, do. Well, they do. <laughs> they come out with a. Uh... They're shifting back over. We called a timeout. They came out in a uh, good call in a little uh, setup where they had five out here on the timeout, side. Trinity. A little That's little true. trick type play like we run timeout. sometimes down on the uh, goal line, and I don't know that we were prepared for it. They had five guys out here on the, uh, on one, of the end. one of the negatives. If we do get the ball back, don't we don't have it. We just lost the timeout. That's right. So you had, to, you had to think: was that planned? Yeah. If you have any questions, please go. Well, I'm sure that's a play they had in their pocket, and they might come right back with it because I don't know that we necessarily have an answer. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they do here if they go back to something uh, more vanilla on this play. <laughs> and yeah, they're starting to throw everything at us but the kitchen sink, it seems like, with all these uh, yeah. different formations. Unfortunately, high schoolers don't have all the time to prepare. <laughs> That's exactly right. Well, they're going to come right back all, out with it. All these different and they've got linemen. They've got linemen out here. We got four out. They four got to five. They, they got a center and and uh, two men on the line on the interior line and the quarterback. And I bet it's a running play. The ball's out of play. Yeah, that was a. Uh... Hey, just tried a long pass to uh, pass number, number 10, 10 Jesse uh, Cushman. Cushman, and it was good, good coverage defended, over there by, uh, by Gabe, Gabe Meadows. Meadows. Yeah, the law, a lot of their plays are keen on one, one particular player. Yeah, it was. Either, either their star player, 23 Reese. I beat Jake Walker. The, they seven, do a lot of David Coleman. That was one of those situations where they tried to get all our attention on one side and get that one-on-one -on -one coverage, and Gideon did a great job, or Gabe did. Here comes another punt. It's a uh, getting to the side out of bounds. So and it goes out of bounds at the 20-yard line. And that gives us with a minute and six seconds and, and a timeout to drive the length of the field to get a touchdown. We come out in our standard. Beer. Now we gotta have a 
Got to have some tough plays here. Run up the middle again. Yep. Pick up of two. I know. I know we want to score here, but it's a two-yard game. With the time running out, we may take it to the he house. He may play a little and play a little safe, uh, close to the vest here, and not risk a, a big play going the other way on a on a turnover. Um, we'll see what we do. That may be the to, case. Down to 35 seconds. We do have single coverage out here. Once again, we run the fullback, and they're just covering us up on the on the line of scrimmage. And uh, Reese is in there on that tackle, and number 78. Uh, Danny Roush was in there as well. Just not a lot of coverage, and like you said, I think we might be taking it to the house right here. We're down to 15 seconds. I don't believe they'll get this play off unless he calls timeout. One yard gain on the play. I think we're going to take it to the house and come out in the second half and play some Crusader football. And that'll be the end of the first half here at Cleve Warnock Field with the Briarwood Buccaneers leading the Trinity Crusaders 16 to nothing. Uh, we'll have our halftime show and we'll be back in a few minutes with the second half. Choose the convenience of Neighbors Express and get friendly, courteous service every time you visit any of our convenient locations. Fill up with pay at the pump and take advantage of our bigger and better selection of beverages and tobacco products. And buy 12 packs of Pepsi products, two for $6.99. Enjoy the popular crushed ice with your favorite fountain drink. Also enjoy a fresh hot breakfast. Stop by for lunch or dinner. It's always fresh, always convenient at Neighbors Express. Now located at I-16 and 441 and in Cedar Grove, providing farm fuel for all our customers. Count on the convenience of Neighbors Express. Okay, we're going to open the second half here at Cleve Warnock Field with the Briarwood Buccaneers leading 16 to nothing over our Trinity Crusaders. Before the kickoff, Don, can you give us some stats? How did, how did uh, their running back for Briarwood, how many yards and carries did he have? We'll run through these statistics and we'll come back to them. Uh, they had 203 yards of total offense in the first half. And Dylan Reese had nine carries for 65 yards, and then that one big touchdown or that one big catch for 65 yards. So he had 148 yards of total offense as we get ready for this kickoff. Well, hopefully we come out this half and have a start off with a four and out and get the ball back. They, and see how good the they look is. like they might be expecting an onside kick here, and they have one guy back deep, Jesse Cushman. They're moving them up. Yep. And it's a, it is a spinner, not necessarily an onside kick, but it's something we've done in the past to avoid uh, chances of big returns. Will Johnson, Will good. Johnson good play uh, by Will. grab the ball, the and it's uh, a net return of zero. And so how do the Crusaders, uh, how was their offensive well, five not in the first half? Not a lot of offense in the first half for Trinity. They had 24 yards on 18 total plays, whereas the Buccaneers had 203 yards on 22 plays for an average of 9.2 yards of play. These stats are courtesy of uh, Chad Payne and his statistics staff that's walking the sideline for Trinity. And they line up with a different look here to start the second half with a single back. And they got four guys wide and we don't have someone out there covering. Wow. And uh, thankfully they didn't look up and see it. Um, and they ran it to Dylan Reese up the middle. But we had, we had a receiver out there on the far side uncovered. Yeah. Jay Walker's like, I'm out here with two guys. Yeah. But luckily, it wasn't a pass play in the ramp and they'll a few yards. A little three yard gain. They come out once again, and now we've got William Gay slid out uh, to cover the guy in the slot now. William Gay spots in the tackle. Gets and they the fall through. A good job of yeah, fighting through right. the fighting through the block there. Uh, William Gay and Jay Walker. You want to see him. you want to see five blue helmets on the tackle. That's what you want to see on the defense. Number two, Matt Coleman. So it's like so Coach so Fields has got the defense fired up this half. Five yards. So pick up a five. Here's a big third and two. Third uh, the down. third down conversions were a uh, bugaboo for us in the first half. 
as Briarwood was able to uh, convert on numerous occasions. They come back, they go to that, that watch, base process. Watch no, Dylan Reese, number 23, gets the handoff right up the middle. middle and he get, it looks like he surged forward yeah. to get the first down. Yeah. The forward progress looks like he, made, he got the first down. Matt Coleman and uh, Keon Taylor in the tackle, but not before yeah. he could pick up three yards on a third and two. 23, Dylan Reeves on the carry. Brought down by number 15, Sidney Cullison. The they were four of seven on their third down conversions in the first half, and we were over five. And that's really the story of the game right there. Yeah, I think that I think two of their touchdown passes went, were they were down third and long. They go right back to the tailback, and they want to keep it simple there with a five-yard off-tackle run. <laughs> 23, Dylan Reese on the Nothing carry. fancy when you're getting a good push on the line and you got a running back that can hit the hole Williams like game. number 23 can. The gain is three yards. And yeah, the defensive line have got to get off their blocks <clears throat> and blow up the backfield. The eye formation hey. worked well for them the first half. Let's see if we can make some adjustments. And there's a big good tackle. Hit. And that's what we got to do. Another big tackle with Keon Taylor leading Reeves. the way. Dylan Reeves carried the ball again for the Bucks, hit initially by number two, Matt Coleman. Number three. That's what we got to do is stand him up, take a little of that resolve away from him. Third down, three. Another big third down. Let's watch the tight end here. They go back with the. Uh, Last time they threw it to the tailback going out in the flash. They go up the this middle with him, they, and, and the Crusaders stopped. stop him. And good a big stop stand. with Sidney Colson leading the way. we got good penetration. They're spreading us out and then trying to shoot the gaps. But Sidney Colson led the way there. The and that's going to put them in a fourth and two. And um, I, think I would be very they're surprised if they punted two, right here. 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 I feel like if they're going to go for it on uh, – on the extra point from the three yard line every time, they feel pretty confident about a fourth and two. So this is a big, big play. Uh, and I, I would think we're either gonna get a quarterback sneak right here or you get the, uh, and there goes the quarterback sneak. Quarterback goes the right. Gap. They were able to contain him on that quarterback sneak the first half and yeah. that time he found a- He found a gap. Yep. Picks up right 15 yards. Keeper. Yep. That's a big play. Number 22, Jake Walker. The gain is enough for a Buccaneer first down. When you have a player like Reese on your on your uh, side, people tend Crusaders. to key on them and lose track of other guys. And that was a case where, like you said, they would, they ran that several times the first half, like he was looking for something, and he found it on that play. And that was a big a big play. So it'll be first and ten for the Buccaneers at the 26 yard line of the Crusaders. Send motion. Great penetration that time by Gideon Meadows with a huge tackle in the background. He knocked down number seven, Will Johnson. Number three, Gideon Meadows on the sack. Good read by the linebacker. They tried to run that little uh, speed sweep it's there. Five yard long. And uh, Second down, 15. we had it covered. Yeah, I was very, you know, I was. I knew they had a good team based on the, the points they put up. But the quarterbacks made some really good throws the first half, and he's looked really good on the play-action pass. They have. And Here goes a good pitch back. And it looks like a throw. And number 23, Reese, done it to us again there with a uh, halfback option pass to number 88. To number 88 at the Porter, Brooks, Porter Brooks, who caught that long pass in the first we, half. The, game is enough for a the good thing is the defense was there. He just made a great catch. and. He did for a 20-yard pickup to move the chains once again. You could see that developing as he swung out. That's right. And uh, he made a nice pass, and the, uh, it was a nice sliding catch by number 88. Ooh. I don't know who he was throwing to. I, I, was getting I rid think of he it. was just trying to get rid of the ball. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think I thought he was outside the tackle box. 
so I don't know that it's going to be, uh, you know, you're, he, they called it. So high school's a little different. He, he, as you said, he wasn't throwing it to anyone. But I was, I really thought that, uh, that they wouldn't call it. But he certainly wasn't throwing to anyone. Yeah, it was close to being a uh, late hit. That's what I was worried about, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was. <laughs> they got to play aggressive here. Yep. We got to lay back. You worry about a big play happening when you do that. There you go. Rush it. And he oh, gets it off. Great catch. Good block out, outside and six points a great, for the Buccaneers. That was a, an eyelash for being a great defensive play. And an eyelash made it a great play. It was a great catch by number 23, Dylan Reese. He just caught it with his fingertips and was able to pull it in. He is obviously a quality athlete, and uh, he showed it to us tonight. Robert back comes back into to the their, two point conversion. And they go back with that, that quad set with four, with four, uh, four wide outs and one man in the backfield. And he throws with guys hanging on him. And hits number two, Connor Corbett, for the uh, two-point conversion there. He was wide open, uh, and all he had to do was stay standing, and he barely stayed standing and threw it. Yeah, and they, they all apparently lost where he was, and he just sneaked out and got in the corner of the end zone, and he was sitting there. That'll make our score here at Cleve Warnock Field. Briarwood 24, Trinity 0, with 639 left in third quarter. There's more than one way to get professional lawn care. Do it yourself like this homeowner with whatever this is. Pros use reliable, powerful, Gravely equipment. This homeowner gets by with something else. Gravely delivers the high performance and quality professionals stake their reputation on. Gravely outpowers, outlasts, outperforms. Get what the pros use. See Myers Equipment and Supply for details. Okay, we're lined up once again for the kickoff, and uh, it looks like a short run up from the kicker here. Um, he's been kicking these little uh, spinners at us all night, uh, trying to eliminate any kind of returns because we have a real strong return game. Um, almost looks like he's in that onside position here. And that's exactly what it was. And... Uh, we held on to the ball That was there. a heads-up play. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was almost a heads-off play. By Ch uh, Chase Alcher is right in the middle of that. Um, yeah, Chase did an outstanding job. That was a great onside kick because they got it. You always want to get that spin over like that, and you're going to get that funny hop. And uh, He was he, the bull in the ring, and they were about to punish they, him. And, and they did impressive. punish him, but he hung on to it. He did. So with uh, a little over six minutes left in the third quarter, uh, we finally get to see the ball after that long five and a half minute drive by the Buccaneers. We come out in a power set with two tight ends. And we're gonna run Blake yeah. Purvis, but number five, Zach Stadler, the quarterback comes up with a big hit. This cooler weather certainly played dividends for, for uh, Briarwood tonight as they've been able to let their guys play both ways. Yeah, they got, they got the all factor. their athletes playing both ways, so they're. So far, they're choosing the right play. That's based exactly on the scoreboard. Right. Crusaders come well, out with We got four, four men wide in a spread set. He's running the football, goes to a tackle and runs Ooh. out of bounds. Real close to a late hit there by number four, but it was a, it was Wynn about Mason a five yard pickup by Wynn Mason. By number four, he spread it out there and he tried to get to the corner. Yards. 
I got to feel like we're going to see a lot more of that these last uh, quarter and a half with us down 24 0. We're going to have to spread it out, open it up a little bit, and look for some big plays to happen. Yeah, last week Jay had some really good passes. Hopefully, we can continue to move the ball. No more we seven inflicted wounds here in this drive. We come out and Got some time, he gets rid of it. And he's just off the hands of William Gay. Uh, as once again, uh, Whip was under a lot of pressure there. Yeah, they were closing him real hard. He was under duress. Oh, and to throw it maybe a, a step before he wanted to. William had a little bit of an opening there. Yeah, but throwing back, for, throwing back to your left or a right-hand quarterback, that's a tough throw on the run like that. It is. And so that'll bring us uh, fourth down. That's another third down. We still have not converted a third down tonight, which has really been the difference in the game, John Mark. There's a good, a good end over end uh, spin on it, and uh, we got to hurry and get there. And they, they're going to say we downed it at the one yard line, which was great effort by our guys. I guess if you touch it in, in high school, if you touch the ball, it's dead. It didn't. Yeah. It's great hustle That's down right. the field by yeah. Alan Mills, the long snapper, who was actually the uh, special teams player of the game last week, and he hustled down the field to get the stop of the ball. But after further review, they've decided it was a touchback. It was not controlled at the one. We were all in question in that. And That's the, right. The, the, the Briarwood radio contingent was, was <laughs> vociferously That's right. protesting it. And oh, so it will be at the 20 yard line. The Buccaneers will start first and 10 at the 20 yard line. And you usually you have to stop the ball. And before. have control That's of it. That's right, before yeah, it goes into We the... stopped it, but we didn't have control. And it was just, it was a little bit too good of a kick. And they come out now, they've come out in the pistol with four wide outs, a little bit different look. Uh, they're feeling their oats and trying some different things here. And there goes another pass and a great oh, play by wow. David Coleman. Good play. He was tracking Connor Corbett and uh, made an inside break on the ball. Right. It was a nice play. Yeah, the freshman side uh, had a good tackle and another good Pass break it, up there. It, bo it bodes well for the future. We have a, a, a really young team out there as it is, but we've gotten uh, two or three of those freshmen are getting to play a bunch, and that bodes well for the future. And they're going to – they're in the spread again. Now with the deep back, look for the handoff, and we have a man in motion. And there he goes, and there's that man again. But good stop, Keon Taylor. Hanging on. Dylan Reese again on the carry for the ball. Chase Autry hanging on. Down by number 18, Key and Taylor. And hold him to a four yard pickup. Brings us back to third and six. Four yard game. I think we've been here before, John Mark. Yeah. Third down, six. They were four out of seven in third down conversions in the first half. And they were and perfect on that, on that the last drive. The so. They were, I believe it was three for three. But they got to reach down, and make a stop here. Another pass play. A screen oh, almost, almost picked off. Almost picked off by Matt Coleman. <laughs> great read. pressure by Chase Man, Autry. Two, uh, we got great penetration by him. He got the ball off. Matt Coleman was right there reading the tailback coming out of the back. The incomplete pass. And that's a big down. stop. There's plenty of time left in this game. We just got to have some good things happen on the offense side. That's a big stop by the Crusader defense. We have Jake Walker and David Coleman back. And there's a... Another good good kick. punt to, to Jake Walker. He takes it at the 38. And uh, good tackle. The quarterback, Zach Stadler, and number 10, Jesse Cushman. We heard we call their names a lot tonight on offense, and they were down there on the coverage, so they're playing triple platoon. That's right. Special teams as well. So Trinity will come back at the 38 yard line. They got good first at field 10, position. Trailing. Briar with 24 to nothing. A big drive right here, John Mark. This has got to be the drive of the game. And we really need for it to be a quick drive. 
They line up with Witt in the uh, spread. And they go with a quarterback sneak. And he gets maybe a long two. Put us in a second and eight. Yeah, they closed in him pretty quick. Just doesn't seem like we have a lot of operating space out there. They're, they have uh, outstanding team quickness. Uh, not just the one guy, they've got several guys that have got good speed and more than that, good quickness. And a lot of times quickness is more important than speed at this level of John Mark. Back in shotgun formation, low snap. Good, good catch. And a great catch by Will Clarty there. Uh, an excellent pa pass that time under duress and a big eight yard gain or six yard gain there to put us in a third and short. Third down, two. We have a third and two here. This is a big, pivotal play. We need to uh, have some success. We haven't had a lot of third and shorts. We've had a lot of third and long, so maybe this third and short, uh, we can get creative here. All right, we got twins out to the left. Right out in the middle. He's driving his leg. He's pumping them. Great pumping by Blake Purvis. is going to put him right. It looks like a... Like uh, it was it looks not like a short. favorable. It was not a favorable spot. Looks like it's gonna be fourth down, and maybe about. They're gonna measure. It's uh, I don't know that I've seen more than one or two measurements all year, John Mark. They've been <laughs> they've been doing a lot of eyeballing, uh, but they're gonna come measure this, and it's a big measurement. Um, it looks like we needed to be uh, just outside the 48, and we're just inside it. We're down by 24. I would think we'll be going for it. I have no doubt about that. Here comes our um, outstanding chain gang out here to measure this. We're gonna be short by about, 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 about 12 inches. No, not quite as far as the, he's a, he must be a fisherman with that measurement. It looks like we're about 12 <laughs> inches and he measured right. about, about two feet. Um, if they leave the center uncovered like they did in the first half, you might see Whit just take it and uh, pat Jackson on the butt and uh, just follow him through. That's right. All we need is that good push. After the measurement, it'll set up fourth down and a short one. They line up someone right over Jackson this time, but he is, Jackson has got some size on him. And sure right enough, he got a good push and he gained, he needed a foot and he got two yards. It was a good push by Jackson. It was just a timing play. That's right. It was, uh, he walked up there and, and go play. checked him and they yeah. went. That was a go play. You just get up there and go. And uh, that's a big conversion, our first third down conversion. We had that one fourth down conversion in the first half on a fourth down. Uh, sneak like that, but that was our first conversion on third down. Maybe that'll lead to some big things right here. We need, we need some big plays. The clock is starting to become our enemy as well. There you go, Wick. Up the middle. A great he can take it all the way. He could go. He could go. He gets down all the way to the two yard line. A great play by Wick. Uh, the defense blew the play up before he could make the handoff, and he gathered. He, he got a player down. He gathered himself and, and shot the gap. That's number one, Hunter Callaway. So here's the kitchen. This is perfect. Wait, this house uses just electric? Uh, yeah, that'll never work. How can we expect to cook under these conditions? So what do you think? I think this is a wonderful house to raise our family in. It is natural gas though, right? It's kind of all electric. <laughs>
<laughs> natural gas sells homes, so choose natural gas. Brought to you by the City of Dublin. So we come back in with a tight set. We went up under the center. And uh, he tried a hard, uh, a hard count right there. And there goes uh, Blake Purvis with a good push. We're getting a little bit of push. We're starting to get a little bit of a push in there, John Mark. And uh, it picked up. It went from the five down to about the two-yard line. They had him nine, hemmed up, on the carry. but he run hard in there, and Not he picked up two, two and a half, exactly almost three exactly. yards. Put yeah, a second was, goal. There's a little confusion on the Buccaneers or a point. Well, but when we moved our guy back to wing back, they game, were. It wasn't an interior lineman. Goal, he was free to move before the snap, as long as he got set. And he got snet, set. Um, I actually thought they might have had a kid move on that hard count. That's something Witt's been able to use. The shift over to the right. Now we might have had a flinch there uh, by someone on our line. Uh, Jack Ferris flinched a little bit on the on the side, and that puts us back in a uh, second. And we're still second goal, but we're at the seven yard line instead of the two. Yeah, we're, we're down to two minutes in this quarter, so we got to punch it in. Now the time is run, running down. We we needed a big play, and we got it. We, yeah, now we, we got to capitalize. We got to right. capitalize on it right here. And we come back into that. We got a uh, tight set with trips over here, and we're gonna hand it with a throwback, and he's there. And yeah, gets Mason more. with a Touchdown. great run, a great effort. Jake Walker, a little throwback pass. He tossed it to Jake, and then Whip was Whip went up by a lot, but Jake's our backup quarterback, and he's got a good arm too. And Whip went up, got the ball, and then fought his way in. It wasn't a play that completely fooled him, but our execution did get him. He's he's got a good athletic body, and he and he fought his way through to the goal line. He did heads we, up play for Whip. We come out in our polecat formation here, and uh, Briarwood looks like they're uh, prepared for it, um, a lot better than what um, Piedmont was last week. So we're gonna call a timeout. They're gonna be firing outside. Good pursue. We ran the sweep with Jake Walker there, and it was just uh, a little bit too much pursuit there, as you said. Yeah, Zach Stowler, the quarterback. But we got in the end zone and, and linebacker the came in and made a stop. But we're uh, 24 to six. It's uh, 24 to six, Briarwood leading Trinity with a minute and a half left in the third period. It's what we all want. It means doing what it takes, getting up every morning and making it happen. And we couldn't agree more. Because your success is our success. At Morris Bank, we're banking on you. We're back and we're set up for the kickoff with Colin Crozier. Once again, they're stacked up front looking for the onside kick. And I know we like to do those squib kicks, John Mark. We need it. We need a. Uh... And he does what? that corner, that little corner kick. He's got, that... Oh, good catch. A little uh, fair catch. Fair catch at the 31 yard line, 32 fair yard catch line. Is caught by number seven, Will Johnson. The Buccaneers yeah. will take over first and 10 at the 32 yard line. All right, so we're going to be first and ten for Briarwood at the Trinity at the uh, Briarwood 33-yard line. It's, we got to have another big stop because we've got to have three more scores, John Mark. <laughs> They've got everyone stacked in in a tight set here. They're going to run to there the weak side. Number 23. We got him stacked up. 
uh, Matt Coleman and William Gay and Chase Autry in there, all team. And that's what we got to do. We got to gang yeah. tackle it. The linebackers Reed, are filling the Reed, hole and they're closing in quick. Stop by 25, William Gay. Still picking up a few yards. Chase Autry. It's a three yard game, brings up second down seven. It'd be nice to keep them in a, in these long behind the chains with some uh, some some long third and long back in the eye formation. There's another oh. and the ball's on the ground. All oh, right. Chase Austin with the recovery. Griffin Hill with a Griffin Hill with a big hit. And there's some uh, there's they some. Went low. And they do they do decide that it is our ball. A great hit by Griffin, submarined in there and knocked the ball loose. And Chase Hawtrey dove on it. And that, that's one of those breaks we've been looking for, that's John right. Mark. We got, we got the third quarter here still with 44 seconds left. and It'll be first and 10 at the, just outside the 40 yard line. Of Briarwood. We need we, to be effective and score quick on this drive. We come out in the shotgun. And Witt's looking to throw. He's, he's wide open. Oh, he had, had him wide open. He had Jack Ferris wide open. And just. That was a great play. Good call. Just didn't get quite enough air up under the ball, John Mark. I think he got excited. And uh, he didn't lay it up just enough. Pass intended for number 20, Jack Ferris. is incomplete. Uh, Briarwood's got some confusion on the field right now, and their coach is out on the field throwing his hat and upset with the, I don't know if he's just upset with his team or what, but he just yeah, that was That out. was definitely a busted, busted coverage, and wish we could have capitalized on that and put six on the board. The quit score is what we need, but yeah. we're still in this game. We're doing some things. Looks like halftime, and they must have seen a few things, and we're trying it. Uh, I, I imagine that uh, Coach Fields was very inspirational at halftime. We've come out and we seem to have shown a lot more effort. And there's a, in the trenches, we've played a lot better. We've held up a lot better defensively and we've gotten some push. Uh, that was a situation where, you know, you, you see that at the pro level when a quarterback's got a guy that open. Uh, a lot of times they won't just lay it up and let them run up under it. They want to get it there so quick that they, right. uh, they flatten out that throw. And that's what he did. And Jack just couldn't quite run it down. Um, but we've got them on their heels right here, John Mark, and uh, it'd be nice to find a way to punch one in before the end of the quarter. We go back to our standard beer set. Checking off. And there'll be a bit fullback Blake. dive, and that's some good, strong running by Blake Purvis as he ran over number seven, Will Johnson, for a big Blake six Purvis yard game, six and a half yards. Almost seven yards. Third quarter is down between one second, so we're ticking away. And maybe able to get another playoff here, which uh, doesn't seem like much, but it could be a big play right here. A lot of times the team will let up right at the end of the quarter. Blake is well off top. There goes Blake again, he's running still hard, and he's going to have a first down, and that's going to run the clock out. And we'll head to the fourth quarter with Briarwood leading. Uh, a driving Trinity team, 24 to Trinity 6, as we enter the fourth quarter. This is the Century 21 team, and we're here to help you win your game. George Durden. Ann Adams. Ruth Watson. Charlene Lamb. Delton Lamb. Jay Brantley. Raina Dubberly. Leanne Walker. Jody Tanner. Beverly Forbes. Pam Tillery. Yvonne Robertson. Benny Helton. David Deeves. Jim Jarrett. Put the Century 21 team to work for you today. Okay, we start the fourth quarter 
and the momentum has obviously changed. Uh, John fourth, Mark. Fourth and one here, big, big play here. Of course, in a big, the another, middle. another sneak, and this is a big sneak. We, we keep getting a little bit more and more push, and that was a five-yard pickup right there. And that'll put us uh, first and ten. They'll put us first and 10 at the 26 yard line. And we've got their team a little bit confused and a little bit um, questioning themselves, even though we're still down three I like, scores. We got a one on one matchup. We do. We Jack. have Jack Ferris. We may out have there. a chance on another pass here. And we're looking for it. It's a quick pass to William Gay, but he's not able to hang on to it out in the flat. Pass intended for 25. William Gay is incomplete. There's a Got a penalty. It looks like laundry over here. Holding. As a hold, we, there was a lot of pressure coming in, and uh, you're taught as linemen to protect your quarterback, and someone might have uh, been a little bit overzealous in protecting the quarterback there. Well, it's a, um, it's a separate for the Crusaders. Did he walk off twenty then, or was that was that no, ten? No, <laughs> but they did it from the from the point of the 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 part of the point of the foul, and uh, the 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 infraction was behind the line of scrimmage, and so they do ten yards from there. Uh, it's going to put us in a second and uh, twenty five, right at second and twenty five. So it was about fifteen yards. Right there, he's a lot open. He's got him beat. He reaches oh. out. Oh. I think if Jack there, that was a case where uh, he got plenty of air up under and if Jack had been able to make a quicker turn towards, he might have drawn a, a penalty there because number seven was lost and uh, he just couldn't get over there and get enough contact out of him to make something happen. That's a lot of times that's the best thing that can happen for an offense on a play like that. Puts us in a third and long here, and we're obviously in four down territory, but you don't want to be facing fourth and 25. We come out and we have two guys split wide on the far side, on the wide side, and Jack Ferris. Uh, we roll out wit. 11's open, yes. And throws it out of bounds. Yeah, they closed on our receivers quick on that play. Yeah, there was, was a good no defensive one, play. No one yes, open there. Wait. It'll be fourth down. It's fourth down, but it's, uh, as we said, down 24 to six, and we're in their territory. This is four down territory. They had two defenders on every receiver on that last yep. play. Let's see what kind of uh, scheme Coach Fields has uh, dreamed up right here. That penalty was... was that was a momentum uh, turn changer there, but maybe we can come back. We come back out in the shotgun with two guys spread wide, and like I said, they got them all doubled up. Uh, but there's a there's a guy. Oh! oh and it's deflected he, by number two. He knocks it out of bounds. Good and, uh, defensive play. Will Will Clardy was running past him, and the ball just didn't have it. Just was just a little out of wit's range to make the throw. It was that close to being a big play, John Mark. And the, tonight's been a game of inches. That hold basically hurt, shut down that drive. It did, it put us way behind. It's one of the things that uh, we've avoided for the most part this year is those uh, second 20s, second 25s. So the, now, the defense has been playing good the second half, making some good stops, so let's see if we can. Well, we forced a turnover another, the last Another position. turnover. We forced a turnover last time with some hard hitting and uh, that's what we've got to do again here is, and now they come out in a power T and uh, number four. Good hit, good hit. Some hard running by number four, Matt Coleman with the, with the final uh, takedown. He got hit by several folks. Four, Chess, but it was good, good strong running. And there's, a, there's a flag, I'm not sure what the call is here. First indication is it's against the Crusaders. Yeah, the Crusaders looks like it's 
a face mask uh, in there. A lot of times when a guy's running hard like wow. that, and kids are just reaching uh, to hit them. And it's not like the pros where they have the uh, incidental. Uh, it's 15 yards no matter what. So that's, uh, that's 30 yards worth of laundry in the last two minutes that have been crushers, be one for us, one for them. It'll be first and 10 at the Crusaders 38-yard line. So we got to regroup right here yeah. and get a get a push and shut them down. The clock is not on our side. We're getting closer. No, no, it's not, John. Ten Mark. minutes. And they 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 have showed us a bunch of different sets. Now they're in this power T, and there goes number 23. And uh, still driving. A, a good tackle by Gabe Meadows uh, prevented a bigger gain. It was a nine-yard gain. It just He's got those two lead blockers coming out of the backfield in front of him, John Mark, and it's almost unfair in that situation. Five by number 11, Gabe Meadows. It's a gain of seven yards on the play. Crusaders. It's gonna be a second and a long Lining up two, in there. short three. We're in our base set, we got everyone in the box. Yeah. Uh, timeout called by Briarwood. They didn't like something that was going on. Briarwood. And with that, uh, Briarwood leads with 9.50 left in the game. It's Briarwood 24, Trinity 6. Hi, I'm Jeff Cannon, President of Citizens Bank of Lawrence County. If you're presently a customer of ours, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing us to be your bank. We appreciate the confidence you have placed in us and enjoy providing you with the most up-to-date banking products and services to satisfy your needs. If you're not a current customer, we would like to invite you to stop by and let us show you true community banking at its best. We concentrate on our local community, doing our part to make Dublin and Lawrence County a better place to live, work, play, and retire. We recently introduced two new products, eStatements and Access Now, our mobile banking app. Both of these products will help to make banking with us more convenient and will also help to provide you with a safer and more secure banking experience. We are home to Dublin Lawrence County's original Student Advisory Council, which will be entering its 13th year this fall. We have had over 300 students who have been through our program and look forward to welcoming the class of 2017 to our family. So for all your banking needs, just give us a call or stop by and let us show you personal banking at its best. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Hey guys, it's my favorite time of year because it's time for a bad boy. Power, performance, cut, a better mower at a better price. And it's all bad boy. Industry leading innovation with our patented Easy Ride system and swing away design built right in. It's a better mower any way you cut it. 747 cc's, 60 inch cut, $49.99. Classic American muscle and a blast to drive. That's bad boy, baby. Mow with an attitude. Your bad boy dealer is Cullen Supply and Engine Service, 910 East Jackson Street in Dublin, and now at 2210 Veterans Boulevard in Dublin, and also at 926 South Harris Street, Sandersville. A second short after the timeout for Briarwood. And they line up once again in that full house T. There they go. They go there to the, go. The, the, the full back, the middle back. And number two, Matt Coleman and uh, David Coleman, his cousin, in on the hit. <laughs> uh, some good tackling in the middle of the field. But it brings up a third and short for the Buccaneers here. And this is, this is crucial right now. They went down to make or break time, John Mark. We got that touchdown earlier at a make or break point. And if we don't have any choice, chance in this game, we got to have a stop right here. They go. They're the, still, they're still running that power offense now. They are. They got one guy set out wide, but you got they a blitz. run that quarterback. And, and he goes up in the middle with one tackle. And, he breaks it. Whew. He slipped. He slipped. That's the one thing when you get nine guys, ten guys in the box like that. And we had nine guys, and luckily the one guy was back there. Uh, David Coleman was back there, and luckily the 22-yard line was there because I think the 22-yard line might have made the tackle there. That's right. Gabe Meadows. But we got to take chances like that at this point. 
you know, because we've got to make some big plays happen. Yeah. Crusaders switching the. They line up in that full house tee with a one one man wide, and there goes number four, Chessman. Running and, hard. Uh, Sling him out Gabe of bounds. Meadows uh, slings him out of bounds, but after it's a seven or eight yard four, Chester, game. Michael carrying the ball again for the Bucks. Run out of They've bounds. hit on something going to this power tee, and at, at this point, uh, the, the, the clock is their friend, so they're going to run the ball. I don't know that we'll see them pass it anymore. We're shuttling guys in and out. And once again, and down, a few weeks ago in this heat, it was a big advantage, our depth. But tonight, uh, it just hasn't been as important as uh, the Buccaneers have only played a handful of kids, but they don't seem to be too tired at this point. Yeah, they're running backs. The three main ones that have been running have been doing well. A good pass. Play. There goes a pass. A turnover. He might turn this one all the way, folks. He's got the speed to do it. As he, gets he grabs the corner. corner. He's still Big fighting. return. Great return by Gabe, Gabe Meadows. Meadows. I'll say it again. I don't think if they'll throw the ball anymore. I'm glad they did. But I imagine after that one, they may not throw again tonight. Uh, but that worked out great for us there. They got a little greedy. And uh, Gabe had great coverage on that play and made the pick. That's right. Made a couple of made a couple of uh, good moves and showed that open field uh, ability that he has and uh, returned it almost 40 yards up to the 37-yard line. That's and, what, that uh, was one of the few passes their quarterback, number number five, made a bad throw. Well, he, he, was, he was a little greedy. <laughs> he was a little greedy, and it was great coverage by Gabe. He was right there. He had it tracked. Um, it was textbook interception, a good return. It was. To get him out of the end zone. Trent Hill has a good chance of putting up points quick. Gabe. He stays in bounds. Great catch, catch by, great catch by Jack Ferris. He went up over a guy. He's got that he high catch. Catch. and he's strung. Yeah. I almost thought there was going to be a flag there because there was some contact from number seven. But it was a great leap by Jack. One thing about it, when we have Jack Ferris and Will Clardy out there on the side, they generally have the height advantage. Yeah, he's, and, he uh, is 6'2", and that definitely helps and with a good leaping ability. And he went out of bounds as well, so that's helped us uh, slow this clock a little bit. So now we start off first and 10 at the 30-yard line, and we line up once again uh, with three wide outs and Witt. They got double the coverage. Witt and and sees an opening. And he, he has a break. There and you a go. great 21-yard game by Whitney Mason. I thought that was a, a, a call play for the quarterback run. It was a design play there. Uh, they had the field spread out and had Blake uh, go off tackle to the right side. He got a flag down. down. They're talking to... Looks like a, it was... A, on holding the on the defense, and that'll be. Holding against the Buccaneers is the Klein. They were holding one of our receivers, but that's the Klein, the 21, the 20 yard gain by uh, Whit. We've had two turnovers that we hope we can, uh, on the second turn, we can turn into six. We come back out. And we go with Whit, uh, to Blake, Blake Purvis. He and stays up, he stays he's still up. going. He's running hard, and he's got inside the 15-yard uh, line. Great second effort that was by, a good run. by Blake. And we have a uh, Briarwood player down. Blake Purvis on We've got the a run. stoppage of play here as we have a Briarwood player down. Gain six yards um, on the play. There's a big seven-yard gain on the play. They sit six, looks like seven. And... We're at 747 left in the game with Briarwood leading 24 and Trinity six, and we'll take an injury timeout. We line up, and there might be some uh, offsides. Hopefully we didn't have a guy moving, uh, and they had a jump. That'll get us. Offsides uh, by the Buccaneers. 
That'll get us the second goal, get us halfway to the uh, end zone. So it'll be half the distance. Half the distance to the goal to be on the two yard line. So we'll be second and two from the two. We line up in that, in that power set with Blake deep. I like the quarterback sneak, that's that, what they do. That's a good call and a great push from the line, puts us in the end zone. Mason that quarterback sneak, he has probably gained 15 yards tonight. Yeah, he has. <laughs> and that's got to be pushing, uh, Quint's got to be pushing up close to 100 yards for the game, uh, which will be, I believe would be a career high for him. And we're going to line up here. Uh, we got I seven minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. I would imagine we're going to uh, do something conventional here uh, to try to get this fourth down. We I need, mean, this, we need this the two ex, points here. two points, and we do. We come lined up. We have two guys wide out here to the uh, near side and one man out to the far side. And we're going to run. looks like a run pass option. And uh, Witt tries an underhand pass, but they just got too the much penetration over good. there. We were about to score two touchdowns anyhow. That's right. Um, but if we had made that, we a uh, touchdown and a field goal would tie it. But we were about to score two times anyhow. So it's now Briarwood 24 and uh, your Trinity Crusaders 12 with 740 left in the fourth quarter. Did you know that Dr. Vega and Dublin Macon Cardiology is Lawrence County's only full-time cardiology group? We're here for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week for all your cardiac needs. No referral is ever needed and new patients are always welcome. Our walk-in chest pain center is always available. From pacemaker implants, stress tests, cardiac catheterization, or cardiac consultation. You can always depend on Dr. Vega and our staff at Dublin Macon Cardiology. Dublin Macon Cardiology on Hospital Drive on the campus of Fairview Park Hospital. Committed as always to taking care of you and your heart. Dublin Macon Cardiology. Hi, I'm Chuck Harwell with Community Bank of Dublin Orange County, where our focus is you, our community. Our local lenders are here to help you with your business loans and your personal loans. Our decisions are made in the bank with an answer the same day you come in. Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County is where common sense banking never goes out of style. Other banks may come and go, but we're here to stay. We are approaching a decade of service for Dublin Lawrence County. Thank you for your support. Come see us at Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, the bank that service built. Okay, we're back for the kickoff. Uh, Trinity trailing 24 to 12. It looks like we got our hands team out there with uh, just about all our skill position guys on both sides, Jake Walker and uh, Gideon Meadows and Gabe Meadows and uh, Blake Purvis. And uh, so I, I would think we'd be looking at an onside kick right here. And there it goes. It's got to go to the 10 and it's open and it's there. And it's just, no one could get to it. We had guys that could see the ball, but they just couldn't get free to get to he it. He hit the guy, so he, couldn't, so he could not receive it, and oh, we just missed it. It was close. Yeah. They're going to say we touched it. They're, they are going to say we touched the ball before it got the 10 yards, so it'll be down. Uh, I don't know if they re-kick or give them the option to get them the ball here. They always seem to change these rules. Uh, but it did look like one of our guys. That ball was just a little bit too slow of a roller. Um, yeah, illegal touching, that's why. It was close. It was. 
and uh, all those plays are close, and there's nothing you can do. I mean, you're running, you're running all out, and that ball decides it's going to go slow. Those things happen. There's not much you can do. Um, the ball was dead at the 49-yard. I know there's a fellow over in Alabama that owns high kicks every time, but he goes for it on fourth all the time, but I don't know about that. Well, we've got to have another turnover here. I don't think we'll see much passing, but we could be wrong, and I imagine they'll, uh, they, they, they've they got these two tight ends, and they're going to run this power set and uh, see what they can do. And there goes number four. There you go. And uh, we stack him up. Good play. Chase Good Autry play. in the backfield with great penetration, and Griffin Hill and William Gay finish him off. A loss of three, uh, uh, loss of two, uh, two and a half, almost three yard Chase loss there. Yeah, it's good to see the Crusaders. It's, it's hard to say it's just late in the season. I mean, it's the middle of the season, but they're uh, they're fired up and they don't have their hands on their their hips. They're no, they they're getting they, at it still. They're uh, they're winning the battle in the trenches now, where we were getting pushed around the first half. We we're doing some of the pushing this half. And uh, we got to keep that up, and that's you just got to try to shoot the gaps and cause a fumble, or just cause something bad to happen. And there goes Tom Sweet. There you and go. There's an opening, and uh, Matt Ooh. Coleman with a great open field tackle. That's but it was a gain of 22 yards for uh, Dylan Reese. Um, that was a good pursuit by the linebacker. 23, Dylan Reese carried the ball for the Bucks. Run down by I don't know a lot, Cole. John Mark, but I know a little, and I'd be giving it number 23. The game is and I'd just keep giving number 23. The 30 um, clock's obviously their friend at this time. We've got to have two possessions, so we need a stop in the, in the quickest way. Um, and they're going to come out in this, uh, this, full, this full house tee. And they're going to give it to him again. And that's shooting the gap. Chase Let Autry with another big tackle. Big tackle. They're making some good stops, but they're, they're allowing that one play. Yep. To get the first down on this drive. We, we just got to string, string three plays together and either force a turnover or push them back a little bit where they feel like they've got a punt. <laughs> and maybe we can make a big play in special team. We're down to six minutes. Uh, Defense has got to come up big. There goes number 23 again, and we missed a tackle in the backfield that time. Uh, and he picks up about three, but we had good penetration once again. And we're selling out for the run. 23 that's what we have to do at this point. Carry. And Jason Brack had a penetration, but they both got in there and got him slowed down. And then the other guys Third finished down. him off. Man. There goes a big third and eight right here, John Mark. But they're coming after them. Oh! Uh, hard count. It's hard count, and they drew us off. And well, that's going to take it from a third and eight to a third and three. Um, you know, that's one thing in our situation. We're going to be, we're going to be wired trying to make plays, and those things are going to happen in that situation when you get down After like we the are. Penalty, it'll be a third down, a long three. Now it's a third and three. We can't afford another play like that. We just got to play hard nosed. Well, it's one of those. This is a play where the coach can say, I'm just going to run the, the clock out, or he can do a trick play like he has been doing yep. and pass it. But he's, now, this time he's they just, on the ground. They give, give it to the. Uh, he's going to be short. For, he's going to be first short. Down. Looks like he got a real friendly, got a real friendly spot Picked there. By number 25, William Gay. He stopped. The clock, the clock was running as they're discussing it. They did stop the, the stop the clock after uh, about 10 or 15 seconds had run. Yeah, the coaches were were not excited about the clock. <laughs> they need all the yeah, time. The, the officials tell them to add 10 seconds back, so it'll be 4:46. Uh, it looked to me like he had been stopped, and uh, I thought he was stopped between the 20 and the 21. And then when we looked up, they looked like they've got a real favorable spot. And uh, 
He's, uh, it's, once again, I think it's a lot closer than that. It looks like it's about two inches from <laughs> up here, John Mark. Yeah, I know. He had him about an eight inch uh, striper there or something. Um, but it's for, obviously they're gonna go for it here. And obviously we got to sell out at the line of scrimmage and we got a time, we can't jump. Uh, we got to make them earn it. And, uh, it'll be fourth down and about a foot to go. I, I would expect. I would expect you'll see what number. <laughs> yeah. Get the ball here. Twenty-three, or they may go with that sneak. It's worked real well with number five, uh, Zach Stadler there. So it wouldn't surprise me if they did that. We need a big push. Uh, right spread the them middle out. Of that line. We got to have a push, and uh, he jumped. They had movement on there. I don't know. They have movement Chris on their Sanders line. Chris Sanders pointing at their line and they're pointing at them, yeah. so let's see. Well, he's headed our way, so it was illegal procedure. procedure. Against the Buccaneers is the call. That was a big, big penalty. It'll be a five yard penalty. It'll it be was. fourth down, six. He, the official was trying to give us 10 yards there, John Mark, but he decided to think again, and only it's a five yard penalty, which is a huge, huge deal. It goes from fourth and two inches to fourth and five yards and two inches. They're gonna go for it still. And we gotta, we gotta stay set. There we go. And uh, they come we out, they spread it out and they got four receivers out and looks like they might run some kind of speed sweep, which is what they do. There's some holding, holding right there. Holding, Yep, they got number seven and was holding. I would assume that was the, yeah, he was they holding. They would decline the penalty and get yeah, the turnover downs. Yep, it looks like it stopped it on uh, a great fourth down the stop there. Porter Brooks carried the ball for the Bucks. There's a penalty on the play. It's good to see number 88 was back in the game on that play. But that'll be declined. No, it'll be declined. Decline. They declined it. Got a lot of miscommunication tonight. <laughs> yeah, the officials just assumed it. So we declined that and we'll get the ball first and 10. At our 21. The call is holding against the Buccaneers. And we get the turnover on downs. The result of the play is a first down Crusaders. And so with four minutes and 15 seconds left, we're trailing 24 to 12. We gotta have two touchdowns, John Mark. Uh, we need, we've had some big plays this third, third and fourth quarter. We need another one right now. I we tell you, quick well, score. the Crusaders have done well this half of spreading it out and finding. And Whit, Whit has had an excellent half. Yeah, he's, some he's big done runs great. And a couple of key passes. Um, Umpires are vicious just here trying they're to figure out. They're confused as to where the marking is. And it was, uh, and they're swapping out footballs now, getting the right football in the game as each team has their own football. And now I think we have restored order to the game. And we'll line up right, with Will Clark, out. Will Clardy and Jack Ferris out wide, go to the shotgun. Quick pass. Good protection. Good throw. And Jack. Gets out of bounds. Bounds. And it's a pickup of about six, it, but it stops the clock. We're going to have to go down the field at some point uh, or try some, well, try some kind of trickeration to get someone free. They are, uh, they're playing a, a, a modification of a prevent defense on us. Um, with only four men on the line and two linebackers, and, and then they're playing five defensive backs. Across the middle, he runs out, he does a, he throws it away. And uh, Good it looked play. like some confusion on the pattern from Clardy there. Uh, not sure exactly if it was supposed to be a crossing play or if it was supposed to be a, um, if he was supposed to, to cut to the It'll outside be third there. Down, four to go. It's third and four. And, Every situation is four down territory now. Well, that, that first down play to get those yards was crucial. So you could go a little deeper on the second second down, but now 
they can either run the ball here and get it close or get the first down where it's, it's obviously four down territory. Yep. Well, once again, they're going to keep it spread out. We got uh, Gideon Meadows and Jack Ferris out wide. And so we run the fullback. We get the, we get it. Uh, looks like we got the first down. And that'll stop the clock for a second, get us reset. We got to get a play. We got to run these plays quickly now because they're going to reset that clock pretty quick. So we got to we got to go and man, manage our time as much as possible. We got the first down there. A good strong run by Blake Purvis. Uh, the Lions obviously done a lot better job this second half of uh, securing some space for him. And rolls around and. Uh, he got it to Will Clardy, a good comeback right at the line of scrimmage. Witt took a big hit, but stood in there. He stood in there and took the hit. And he broke out a 18-yard uh, game. They grabbed his jersey, and he, and he kept on going and sort of slowed him down, but Will made a nice and, catch yeah. on his knees for an 18-yard gain right there. And that clock's still ticking, though. The J to Will connection has been good in the last few games. Another good throw. We got a little bit, um, just overthrew his guy. Uh, he had uh, Gabe Meadows out there for a little quick pass in the flare. And uh, he just overthrew him, stops the clock at three minutes and 13 seconds. It'll be second and 10 at the Crusader 48. I'll tell you, it's good to see the the fight in them the second half and a few big plays in the first half and got up quick on them and but they're they're fight they're fighting back. They fought back. We we're gonna run uh, with the four out four wide outs and from the shotgun here and uh, it's quarterback sneak again a little quarterback draw and uh, quit Mason with a, with yeah. a he. <laughs> He, he delivered a hit on number seven, Will but that, Johnson, but the, the ball good thing, came loose. That was enough for a first down. Uh, it's Well, it looks like it might end up Mid being about a yard short of the keeper. first down, but it was a strong uh, a strong run there, and it put us in third one, and we are in hurry-up mode here. And uh, there goes a sneak, and he's not down yet. They're holding him up. Let's see a flag. A it little bit of uh, extracurricular right there uh, from a couple of kids on the Buccaneers. Number one had a hold of his arm. And uh, that'll be a first down. I'm not sure uh, how they came up with that idea on the spot because I thought he had pushed a little bit farther down than 39. But, but we're, uh, we're hurrying. We're down to the two clock minutes. Starting. 38 seconds. They're ticking away on us. You got to have a quick score. Good Jack pass, Walker. Walker. With a... Jackie Walker with about a six yard gain on a quick play, and we got to run another quick play right here. Hit initially by number seven, Will Johnson. He takes up five yards on the play, it'll be second and five. And we're going to this hurry up. There's another one. Gets out of bounds. And he gets out of bounds. Jack Ferris gets, gets the, the completion, gets a. Uh, First down and gets out of bounds to stop the clock with two minutes and four seconds left. They're definitely giving us the the short yardage. Yeah. They can Daniel score, get seven points here, down. and do an onside kick. Then we have yeah. a chance of. Uh, well, we're getting there close to that two minute mark and getting this crowd fired up. <laughs> we really need a. Uh, what we need here is we keep dinking and dunking because that's what they're giving us. But maybe we we could take one and uh, take a shot here on first down. Uh, get some good blocking and maybe take a shot at uh, Gabe Meadows or Will Clardy on a long pass here. Got an oh, opening across the middle. Jack, Jack oh. oh. Uh, well defended there by number 10. Threw it right down the middle, took a shot at it, right at the goal line, and Jack Ferris was right there. It was a good pass, but when they're, when they're dropping uh, seven, six, seven guys yeah. back there, it's, it's hard to thread the needle, John Mark. Yeah, he's a... Six foot, so he was able to get up there and make a good play. Close the gap. We come up second and 10 from the 28 yard line and we stay in that um, 
Shotgun, we got two wide outs here. And there's uh, Will Clardy with some good, strong running. It gets us inside the 20-yard line. It's going to bring up third and short here. And we're running down. And uh, we're about to be under 100 seconds left in this game. And that clock's just still ticking on us. As we hurry up, we got the tempo going, John Mark. And there goes the run. Breaks the tackle. Breaks the He's tackle. going outside. And uh, Blake Purvis with a big run for uh, another a, training a first seven down. yard first Blake down. And we hurry up. We got 83 seconds left. And we're first and 10 at the 13 yard line. And uh, we try to get a play in real quick before they get set here. And, uh, and don't waste any time. They haven't started the clock. There goes the clock starting. And uh, there goes a. Uh, you got to go out of bounds there. They got a timeout. They got a timeout. Nope, letting the clock run. Timeout, there we go. Pass complete, Gabe Meadows. That was a situation where we needed to turn and go out of bounds, but timeout. you know what? You watch the guys on Sunday, and they don't get out of bounds. It's it, when, you, when you're there, and you think he, you see an opening, yeah. and you just try to go for it. He knows, he knows they need a score, and he's trying to get there. We're going to take a break right here with the score. Briarwood 24, Trinity 12, with 110 left in the fourth quarter. Hello friends, here at Dublin Ford Lincoln, our team wants to take time to let Dublin and the surrounding areas know how grateful we are for your amazing support. It's our honor to earn your business with only the highest quality of products and services because that's what you deserve. If you've done business with us at Dublin Ford Lincoln, I want to thank you for trusting me with the opportunity to serve you. Not part of the Dublin Ford Lincoln family yet? Let me invite you down today so we can show you why others call you customers. We call you friends. That's Dublin Ford Lincoln. I just want to honor the men and the women that lost their lives for, for protecting our lives. Lord, we come to you as humble as we know how, Father God. But Lord, we're here coming as a family. Lord, we're here coming as, as a unity, as a community, Father God. Each one of us, not just law enforcement, but each one of us in our communities, in our families, in our workplaces, we're challenged to serve in order to bring honor and glory to Him. Lord, we just honor those that lost their lives, God. We thank them for their services. Lord, let their lives not be in vain, Father God. And let us always remember that the scripture tells us that the eyes of God move to and fro throughout the earth, that he might strongly support those whose heart is completely his. Please continue to pray for our officers in Lawrence County and also the United States. If you see Jake out there, what? Okay, we're back here at Cleve Warnock Field. There's only 110 left in this game. Trinity is trying to drag themselves back in it. They come out in the shotgun on a second and eight at the 11. They roll right with there. Mason Oak. He makes the throw, and uh, actually it's not the worst thing to happen there. Will Clardy wasn't able to come up with it, but if he had come up with it, that, cl that clock, uh, that clock three. running down would have been more important than the five yards he would have picked up. It's third and eight here. Uh, it's really, we need to get in the end zone. Uh, we don't need that first down. We need to get in the end zone on one of these two plays, John Mark. Yeah, we gotta punch it in quick. And the good thing is they, they've had a chance to do the, on, the onside kick and they almost recovered it. So hopefully we can get a, a quick six and maybe an extra point and then get an onside and Hope for the best. Might see some kind of fade to Jack Ferris right here. Oh, they're going to run the fullback. And it was a, a bad it was a fumble. A, it was a bad transaction, and the ball just went tumbling forward. Tumbling and number five, Zach Stadler, um, came up with the recovery. It just he looked like it was uh, just not a smooth hand. transition from uh, Witt to Blake. Uh, just didn't get it in there, and the ball, it looked like uh, Blake never I, really had it. I'll tell you, he had some running room. He did. He would have gotten close to the goal line. That's right. That's an unfortunate. That's a, a, a heartbreaking uh, 
I don't know why they started the clock there, but uh, it was a heartbreaking uh, fumble right there. Um, with 58 seconds left, uh, Briarwood takes it, and they'll go into that formation you like, that victory formation where they take a knee. Uh, Trinity's going to take, we've got two timeouts, so we'll take one right there. It's actually second and 10, uh, second and 11. They didn't flip, the, uh, flip it, but it's second down, and he's going to take a knee, and we'll take another timeout, or maybe not. Well, the clock was wrong. I thought we had one more time out there, John Mark, but apparently we didn't. Uh, I had not been keeping count of them. Yeah, the scoreboard has we have one left, but apparently not. Well, so that's going to be the game tonight. As the, the final seconds will tick off here, John Mark, and it's a disappointing. Uh, 24 to 12 loss for Trinity against a, a good Briar, Briarwood Buccaneer team. They, they can uh, definitely have offensive weapons. And that's all. exactly right. They and, showed us tonight. Uh, and heads we'll be, up to Dylan Reese, number 23, had an outstanding night, as well as their quarterback, Zach Stadler, uh, number five. And Jay Mason played very well, Your came out of the second half 12, and had a big Brian run and right. had some good like passes. The yep. And the defense nine. actually showed some light too. They did show some, some light in the second half and we'll, we'll be back in a minute with our Dor Dublin Orthopedic uh, players of the game. Uh, remember Dublin Orthopedic on Bellevue, uh, they're orthopedic specialists. If you got carpal tunnel, sprained ankle, uh, don't go to the ER, don't go to urgent care, go to the specialist. Go to Dublin Orthopedic on Bellevue. We'll be back in a second with the players of the game. tackle our great savers on all of our hardwood flooring. We've got a great lineup of laminate, ceramics, and carpet. So roll on in to Bailey's Custom Flooring. Don't forget we also have vinyl and carpet in stock. And now we go down to the field for our offensive and defensive players of the game. Brought to you by Dr. Price and Dr. Peters at Dublin Orthopedic and Rehabilitation on Bellevue Road here in Dublin. Let's go down to the field for our players of the game. I'm here with Matt Coleman and Keon Taylor, the defensive players of the game. It was a hard fall game against Briarwood. Had a lot of tackles. Uh, tough loss, but they play their hearts out. Congratulations, you guys, for player of the game. We're here to present the Dublin Orthopedic Offensive Player of the Game to quarterback Whip Mason. Uh, big game running and throwing. Uh, tell us about that one play where you picked it up and ran 45 yards, Whip. I just picked it up and just saw open lane. I just went. Great effort and uh, a lot of heart showed in a comeback tonight in a 24-12 loss to Briarwood. And congratulations once again to our offensive player of the game, Whip Mason. Yes, and thank you to Dublin Orthopedic and Rehabilitation for their sponsorship. <laughs> 